Welcome to a new lesson of the course. In this lesson we are going to know the integrated circuit 74HC595. The 595 integrated circuit has 16 pins in a deep package. Power supply pins are number 8, ground, and number 16, VCC power supply. We will use 3.3 volts for VCC. Pin number 10 is master reset. We have to keep this pin to high level to ensure proper operation of the integrated circuit. Pin number 14 is DA's data serial input. We call it during the lesson simply data. Pin number 11 is SHCP that we will call simply clock. We will see later an animation to explain the operation. Pin number 12 is STCP that we will call latch. Pin number 13 is OE, output enabled, that is the pin used to enable the output. In our later connection we will set this pin always low, always active. Pins Q0 to Q7 are the outputs, and we will connect them to the LEDs. Finally, pin Q7' is used when you want to connect multiple 595 ICs in cascade. Internally the 595 IC contains three registers relevant to us. The upper one, called SIF register, is the register that receives the data through the DS pin. On every rising edge of the SHCP clock signal, the register will shift one bit to the left. The middle register is used to store the values of the shift register. To copy the shift register to the storage register, we need a rising edge on the STCP latch pin. The lower register is the actual values of the outputs. This will be either high impedance if output enable is high or the values of the storage register if the output enable pin is low. At every rising edge at the SHCP clock pin, the shift register is shifted left by the level of the DS data pin, in this case 0. Now after 8 rising edges on the clock signal the shift register is full of data. With a rising edge of the latch signal STCP pin, the values of the shift register are copied onto the storage register, but the outputs are not updated and they are still in high impedance because the pin output enable is still high. The output enable signal becomes low and the outputs reflect the value of the storage register. A second byte has entered the shift register. At the next rising edge of the latch signal STCP, the storage register is copied with the value of the shift register, and the outputs are updated with this new value because the output enable pin is low. <laughs> 